Jojo, what are you doing? Jojo. Sorry about that. I got distracted by my cats. They were being really cute. Welcome to a new vlog series. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Nagels, otherwise known as Megan, and I do a variety of things in content creation. But on this channel, a lot of the time, I do like daily vlogs or travel vlogs. Sorry about that. I am out of practice. This is the first vlog I'm doing since since my last trip back in May, but this is actually the first full camera vlog that I am doing this year. <laughs> um, I kind of had to take a break a bit of a break and I will go into details about that eventually but I'm not ready to talk about it just yet um, but for those who don't know I do like to be honest as honest as I can be about different things going on in my life and all that so I most likely will go into a little bit more details about that eventually but I just don't feel up to it yet and like I just don't know what I want to say about it yet so there's that so I took a little bit of this year off but I'm back um, and it feels weird to be vlogging again on camera so bear with me but yeah welcome to a new series if you are new welcome don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I will be having lots of content coming your way because this is the start of a series and the series is going to be very long because I am going on a two-part trip. I only hope to travel even more. So there hopefully will be a lot, a lot of different trips vlogged for you next year and then the years after that, even more so. Yeah, I am a travel agent now, so I am, my goal is to be traveling quite a lot. So if that interests you, that kind of content, then definitely you should think about giving me a subscribe. Anyway, back to what this series is going to be. I keep getting distracted. I apologize. It's been so long since I've done this, so bear with me. I also have to confess, I did this already. <laughs> I'm trying to do it better. Please bear with me. Occasionally when I do my travel vlogs, I do a like a pre-travel day video. I usually call those a countdown to the trip and it's been a while since I've done that and so I'm doing it for this trip because this trip I feel like needs a little bit of an introduction. So I'm going away for 14 days and planning on having each day be a different episode of the series so it most likely will be 14 videos long 14 parts however i'll probably split it into the two parts so that those who like disney and want to see that can watch that series and those who just want to see the cruise can watch that series or you can just watch it straight through but you'll watch the Disney part first and then the cruise part first because I'm going to Disney first for um, five nights and then I'm going to the cruise port for one night and then I'm going on the cruise and the cruise is a carnival cruise on the Mardi Gras and it is seven nights long. This time I am hoping to vlog more and do a better job doing that part of content. Sometimes with my travel agent business, I have a hard time multitasking and I find myself switching between getting b-roll, getting pictures, getting, you know, all these different forms of content. And sometimes my vlogging gets a little bit neglected, but I'm hoping to do better. That's going to be exciting because you're going to have 14 full days 
of vlogging and it's a solo trip so i'm just going by myself except for the cruise i am going to be partially with other agents because it's our agency cruise but there's only a few of us going so there's it's not going to be like a big group but i might like meet up with a few of the agents here and there but I have my own room and everything. I am choosing what I want to do. It is definitely a solo trip. So the, for those who are interested in solo travel, I do a lot of solo traveling as well. Sometimes I travel with my sister or um, this last trip that I did back in November of last year. We also took our parents for part of it. So that was really fun. But that's not the norm. That's not the norm. But me and my sister, we are travel buddies, so often I will be with my sister, but then if I'm not with my sister, I'm usually on a solo trip. You can have fun all by yourself. It is empowering to go on solo trips. It's also nerve-wracking, but if you're interested, my first vlog series that I did solo, well, solo traveling, was back in 2007 when I went to Victoria for Christmas all by myself it was the very first time that I did a solo trip I think it was awesome I think that it helps me feel good about myself to know that I don't have to like wait on other people to decide oh yeah I'll go on a trip with you before I you know just like I want to do this trip so I'm gonna go is a very empowering thing, especially if you're single. So the fact that I can travel solo and be okay with that makes my life more rich. Anyway, I am a travel agent. So if you are interested in travel, please think of me. I charge no fees at all. My services are completely free and I often find you the same price that you can find or I sometimes can find a better deal. Just because, like, I know where to look, I know when to look, I know things like that. And we can also do group rates and stuff like that, so. And then there's also, like, little perks that travel agents can throw in. Who knows? I'm not promising anything, but there are perks to using a travel agent. And since it costs you nothing extra, you know, you might want to think about using one. But anyway, that's my little plug for my business. I'm stressed. So there are 11 days before my trip. I got new shoes. I need to break them in because those of you who've been to Disney World, you need good shoes for walking. You do a lot of walking. I put money on a Disney gift card and then my Disney gift card, I can use that throughout the parks. Like the Disney gift cards you can use at the Disney parks, you can use at Disney Cruise Line, the Disney Store, Alani, I think. So if you don't use all that money on one trip, then you can put it towards another trip. Um, so it's actually a pretty smart idea to put some money onto the Disney gift card and then just use that for um, your hotel fees at the end of the trip, your food, um, stuff like that. So it's an idea. This is the first time I'm trying to do that. So we'll see how it goes. But that way I don't like you know, spend over budget or whatever. I have it set. And then I changed around some dining reservations. Oh, and I booked my excursions and all that for the cruise. I'm just doing a few excursions. Um, but I also put some cruise cash on my account. So that's going to be my budget for on board because the food is included, but I am planning on like maybe buying a couple drinks here and there because drinks aren't included. I put a hundred on there so that I don't spend more than a hundred. Um, also, the Mardi Gras has the Bolt roller coaster, so I'm planning on buying that as well. I think that's fifteen dollars a ride or something like that. You know, things like that. The gratuities I already prepaid, so I don't have to worry about that. I might bring some extra cash. Other things that I need to get ready. I need to order a bunch of different things. Um, yesterday I ordered a new 
Park bag, which I'm very excited, but also kind of sad because I loved my Mary Poppins bag. If you've been watching the videos, then you know that me and, well, I think we mentioned it before. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we've talked about it before, but me and uh, my sister have talked about my Mary Poppins bag because we call it that because it can hold a lot of things and it's really lightweight and it's small but it feels like it's bigger on the inside. I always lose stuff in there. I can never find what I'm looking for. And so I like pull out this thing and that's wrong. Pull out this thing just like in Mary Poppins. So that's why we call it a Mary Poppins bag. Also, it's kind of, it's made out of cloth and this pattern, it's kind of looks kind of like a carpet bag a little bit. So, you know, it's kind of a Mary Poppins bag. Um, but I ordered a new one that I'm really excited about because it's time to retire that one. It's falling apart. Um, plus it would be nice to have a more weather resistant bag for when... I go to Orlando because, um, for those who don't know, it does rain quite often and the rain there is way different than Seattle rain. Like Seattle rain is nothing compared to Orlando rain. Orlando rain is different. It is different. <laughs> you will get absolutely drenched. So... It would be nice to have a bag that is more weather resistant. So I'm excited about that. I will show you that when it arrives. On Friday, I have to check in to the cruise. Friday night, I check into the cruise and I'll talk more about that later. And then Sunday morning at 4 a.m. because I'm on the West Coast and it's 7 a.m. Eastern, I get to purchase my lightning lanes. I'm very excited about that, but also I don't want to get up at 4 a.m., but oh well, I do what I must. <laughs> so that is the deal. That Those are the next things that I have to do. Let me explain what the plan is. My trip. So I'm going to Disney World. I'm taking a red eye because I'm crazy and I took a red eye last trip and I told myself that maybe that wasn't such a good idea maybe I shouldn't do that again but when you live in Seattle and you go to Orlando you have very few options of time so especially if you want a non-stop and I always want a non-stop I have done layovers. I hate layovers so much. They make me more, way more anxious. I also have anxiety and one of my major triggers is flying, <laughs> even though I love it at the same time. It's also a major trigger. So I prefer not to do layovers if I can help it. And there's always a Alaska flight that is nonstop from Seattle to Orlando. Now the options are I either arrive after 5 p.m. or I arrive in the morning after red eye. <laughs> That's it. Those are the only options. So either I, you know, lose all of the day or I'm super dead and tired and get more time at Disney, which is what I decided to do this time, even though I might get tired. But my hope this time, I'm going to go straight to the park. And so my hope is that I will be just so excited to be at the park and running rides that I can not take a nap and then just go to bed early that night. That's the plan. Because last time when I did the red eye, I had to wait around for a long time for my room to be ready. And this was at Universal. You would have just seen that series. I just uploaded it last week or a couple of weeks ago. Whenever I put this up, I don't, I'm not sure exactly when this is going up. Go check that out if you're curious. But I had to wait around a really long time for my room to be ready. I got to the resort at 9 a.m. I didn't get into my room until close to 
2 p.m. I think one between a one and two I think so I was just hanging around the resort really tired do it trying to get some work done at like the Starbucks or whatever that was really hard that was really hard I feel like if I go and use my park day that day and go on rides and get the energy of being in the park and all that I feel like it might go better <laughs> but we'll see we'll see about it but anyway then when I got to my room I crashed I took a nap I took a two hour nap I believe two or three hours when my alarm went off I felt even worse <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping to avoid this time I'm hoping to not take a nap and just go to bed early because then I feel like I'll sleep better that night and then more thoroughly and then you know wake up feeling a lot better the next day that's the hope we'll see if it works out but that's the hope I am staying at Caribbean Beach Resort which is on the Skyliner line so I'm very excited and Caribbean Beach I stayed at back in 2018 if you want to check out that vlog series I will put the card here but me and my sister stayed there we did a split stay so we stayed at Coronado Springs Resort and then we changed to Caribbean Beach part way through and I really liked it I really liked the resort now the pirate rooms are gone which makes me sad because let's be real being a pirate is one of my biggest fantasies so like as a kid at heart I absolutely adored those rooms but it's still really cool because it's still kind of like you're a pirate in the Caribbean because each resort section is a different island type thing. But I'm staying there and then I'm going to stay at a Hilton hotel the night before the cruise. And then I'm going to go on the cruise and I'm very excited. The cruise stops at Nassau, the Bahamas, Grand Turk, and Amber Cove. And I have excursions at amber cove and the bahamas but i am planning on just doing a simple beach day in grand turk because i read up on it and it, the beach is like right there you're you get off the ship and you're right there so it won't be that hard to do a beach day whereas on my last cruise is a little bit more challenging go watch that series i'll put the Hard here but anyway that's the plan for the trip and then oh and then after the cruise I have an excursion I'm going to the Kennedy um, Space Center for the first time ever I've always kind of been interested since I'm in Orlando a lot but I never have done it but I'm going there and then going to the airport from there so I will be flying back that same day which I didn't want to do but my budget kind of called for it because the flights the next night were really expensive for some reason I have no idea why it was ridiculous because like first class prices for that Saturday were for uh, main economy the next day so it was like what <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, that's my really long intro. Hopefully I will cut it down for you because I'm out of practice and I'm just rambling. So I hope you stay tuned for this series and I will be vlogging bits here and there every day. I will talk to you all later. Ah, so excited. Yay. Hey everyone. How's it going? It's the next day. So now I have 10 days until my trip. Today I am going through my Amazon shopping list and adding a bunch of things to my cart that I think I'm going to need for my trip because I'm running out of time to order things. So today is kind of the day I need to do that. I mean, I still have a few days that I could take to look at stuff in my cart, but it is getting close. Last night I realized that my magic band has shipped. Yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm also very stressed because I'm trying to work as much as possible before the trip. Sorry, I got distracted because there was a knock at my door because my bag arrived. I'm gonna look at my bag now and see what it looks like. Hi, Jojo. <laughs> She's suspicious of me.
<laughs> I'm not making you move. All right, let's see what this bag is like. I really hope it works. It looks so small, which makes me nervous, but maybe it's just because it can fold up really tightly, which would be good as well. Oh my god, the material feels nice. Oh my god. It's so nice. Yeah, it's like water resistant. Look, there's a pouch here. There's a pouch here and then a pouch here. This is the shoe pouch. Or the shoe pocket. Uh, I don't think that will fit shoes. Um, <laughs> oh, it opens. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's the shoe pouch. <laughs> okay. That will definitely fit shoes. I thought it was just this. I was like, wow. Okay, that's bigger than I thought. Let's take a look inside. I think this is going to work. I think it's going to work great. It might even be an upgrade from my Mary Poppins bag. It's about the same size. Has a nice pocket there. Yeah. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. And this was only 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a bag that I hopefully will use a lot. And then it like holds closed. Okay, so it pulled closed pretty well. The one issue that I have with it already is that there's no thing that goes over this. Which is a kind of a concern about whether. Hmm. There should be. There should be a way to cover the top. Because it should have a flap that goes over it. But it doesn't. So that's a little bit of a concern. Especially for something that's supposed to be weather resistant. You know? That's my only issue with it. Let's see if I can pull it closer. So that's a little bit disappointing. But otherwise it's good. I mean, you can just make sure that all your stuff that you really don't want to get wet is... Like, zipped up in a pouch. There are quite a few. I'm just worried about, like, I would probably put, like, extra clothes in here and stuff that I would not want to get wet. Um, because it's, like, my backup for if I do get soaked. <laughs> um, but I guess I could just wrap them up. It's a missed opportunity. Could have easily added one. Oh well. Otherwise, I'm happy with it. It's the right size. I was worried it was going to be too small. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. I have nine days until my trip now, and it's 11.40 a.m. I'm trying to get some work done. I'm trying to work a lot. Like I said, I'm trying to work a lot before my trip. Um, but today my goal is to go through my Amazon list, finalize my cart, and order basically everything that I need, that I will need for my trip. I'm hoping that I can do it in one go and that I, like, next week suddenly won't be like, oh no, I need this. <laughs> I'm hoping, but we'll have to see how it works. But then also I have to go to Walgreens very soon, actually, because I took a passport photo a couple days ago and signed up to get the email digital copy because I'm trying to renew my passport online. It, it isn't for this trip. I don't need it before this trip because if you go on a closed loop cruise, you don't need a passport. You just need your birth certificate if you're a U.S. citizen. And a closed loop 
means if you leave and return to the exact same U.S. port, then you don't need a passport. It is a good idea in case you get left behind at one of the ports, but you know, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm renewing my passport for my upcoming trip. Here's hoping that it actually happens to Canada, probably Toronto, maybe Vancouver, to see Taylor Swift with my Canadian bestie. I'm hoping that trip happens. Um, I need a passport before that. But anyway, so I took a passport photo on Tuesday. The digital email didn't come. I called yesterday. They resent it. It still didn't come. So today I have to go back into Walgreens and probably get a USB drive of it because I need the digital copy because I'm renewing my passport online so that I don't have to worry about how to mail it in because last year I attempted to do this and I mailed it wrong. So then it returned my old passport and like it hadn't made it to the facility. So I don't want that to happen again. I had major anxiety about it. So I am going to try to renew online. But yeah, I think that's basically all I have to do today to like errands wise. I am working on editing my podcast as well. We're trying to figure out what episodes to upload what weeks because I'm gone for two weeks and then Ruby's gone quite a bit in October and then Jess is gone at the end of October. So it's going to be a bit sporadic and weird. So we're trying to get a little bit ahead of it. I am doing okay, but I'm tired. I'm very tired. And I am, I don't know, I'm excited. My trip is so soon. It's a week from Saturday and it's Thursday. So it's like, ah, it's happening. It is happening. I'll talk to you all later. Good morning. Um, It's the next day. So now I only have eight days left. Ah, I'm so excited, but also I am feeling the stress. So welcome to my meltdown. Yes, I am feeling the stress. So yesterday I did end up ordering a bunch of stuff on Amazon and now I'm kind of regretting doing that. Luckily, most of my trip is already paid for. But because of the timing of the trip, I do have to worry about rent. I don't want to spend every day of my vacation working. I am trying to save up my rent before then. So I am a little stressed today. Because of that, I went to my Disney World, uh, my Disney World reservation. I went to that and um, I tried like, seeing different things and stuff to see what would bring the, the price down because like it's already paid for but I could get a refund if I brought the price down and so I was stay I was planning on staying at Caribbean Beach Resort I was super excited about it like I'm I really want to stay there because I loved that resort back in 2018 when I stayed there and we didn't stay there the majority of our trip I think we only stayed there like five nights so last night's then Coronado Springs and it's been a while and now they added the Skyliner so it's an even better resort so I was just really excited I still haven't made up my mind yet so I haven't changed it yet but if I change resorts <laughs> um to Art of Animation the Room is still available. Sadly, it looks like rooms everywhere else are booked up. So I'm a bit nervous about my trip being super packed and crowded while I'm at Disney World. Which I was really hoping it wouldn't be because it's been like really low crowds lately. People have been reporting. But I guess the end of September gets busier. But... I usually go during October and it's like it's crowded but it's not too bad 
but I haven't been in years during the fall. So who knows? Who knows? But I'm gonna get lightning lane, so it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be by myself. So there are a few solo um, single rider lines, so I can take advantage of those. Anyway, what I was saying is that Art of Animation luckily does have availability in the Little Mermaid rooms because I am not gonna like it it would be more if I booked a suite one of their suites so like that would be pointless I would not do that luckily Art of Animation does have Little Mermaid rooms available and I would get a refund actually I would be adding a park day and still be getting a refund which I was already planning on adding a park day because my original plan was to buy two nights of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and then not go to the parks those days and just chill, you know, take cool days and stuff like that, Disney Springs, and then go to the parks for other days. That was the original plan, but I didn't buy one of the one of the nights in time and it sold out the night that I was planning so then I was like oh no what am I gonna do now but then I realized if I add one more day it'll be even be cheaper than the party ticket I was hoping to have more time at the party because there's so much to do and I haven't been in so long it's been six years since I've been to the Halloween party and I only went once so that's the only time I've been yeah I just didn't want to stress over having to do it all the one time but that's okay it's fine. It probably worked out for the best. I'm kind of happy now that I'm planning on going to the park five days instead of four. But I haven't added it yet. It's only 70 bucks additional. So it's not too bad. It would be a lot nicer if I changed to Art of Animation Resort and get money back and add a day. Like, that's a pretty good option especially since I'm stressed and if I did it today then I most likely would get the refund next week so I would get it before my trip whereas if I wait too much longer I might not get it until during my trip which still would be in time like in time for me to use it for something but it still would be worth it if I wait and but there's also the chance that the rooms will sell, sell out. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm most likely gonna do that because I really wanted to stay at Caribbean Beach. But it's okay. Art of Animation is good too. And I've never stayed there. I've always wanted to stay there. It's also on the Skyliner. So, and that was the main thing I wanted to be. The main thing I wanted this trip was to be at a resort on the Skyliner because last time that was so nice. And I will be going to Epcot a lot, so, uh, because it's also food and wine festival, so that's exciting. I don't know, I think it might be worth it. I think I'm at that point where I'm so stressed that it would just make me feel better if I moved resorts, even though I will also be pretty sad. But I will just be happy to be there, like, it's okay. It's fine. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go so many times <laughs> and me and Kelsey are planning on going again together next year, which we haven't gone together to Disney World since 2018. Once again, I'm shouting out my uh, 2018 trip. I think I already did that in this vlog, so I won't put another card. Yeah, you should definitely go check those out if you're interested. We were there for two full weeks almost two full weeks at Disney World and then we went to Universal but we were in the parks for 10 days so we were there a long time so if you're interested in the park content from 2018 <laughs> go check that out um it was my birthday other than that I have the cruise check-in tonight at 9 p.m that I have to do. I was planning on showing you guys that. I'll, I might show only a little bit of it though because you know I have to put in my documentation and stuff and I definitely won't show you that but then I also have some of my packages coming today. Like I said I kind of regret it now but oh well 
it's too late. <laughs> I did it. Um, and hopefully when they get here, I'll be like, oh, yay. I'm so happy I have this. Uh, yeah. There are a few things that I didn't necessarily need to order and I would have been fine without them. But, oh, well. I'm also struggling because there's not so much work today, which I was really hoping there was going to be. Yeah, because the last few days have been really good with work. Um, but today... Anyway, I also have a massage today, so that's what's going on with me. And I think I'm going to try to work on something, if not work. I'm going to try to edit the podcast or edit this. Because I'm trying to pre-edit it so that I don't have as much to edit before I leave. Because I'm going to edit this the day I leave. So yeah, I will talk to you all later. Bye! Alright, so some packages came. Alright, okay, so this is for part of my costume. For the party. Yes! Look what I got! So hopefully you'll be able to hear me better if it's like windy or something or, or crowded. Yay! So excited. And then what is this? This is way smaller than I thought it was. Shoot. That's not good. That is not what I expected at all. I'm not happy with that. Mm. Yeah, I'm having regrets. <laughs> this is how big this is. My hand. <laughs> it was supposed to be for my supplies. Um, it's not going to hold any supplies in there. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I might try to get it refunded or something. I don't know. <sighs> I feel like... For what it is, I feel like it was more money than it's worth. That's disappointing. I'm, so I'm going to have to order something else for that. Because that's not going to work. I don't know what I could use this for. It can't fit my makeup even. Because my, I think my mascara is longer than this. And all my eyeshadows are in palettes. This is tiny. Tiny. Maybe I'll find some use for it. I don't know. But that's disappointing. Make sure to look at the sizes when you're ordering on Amazon. I always forget this and this has happened before. <laughs> um, I should learn my lesson. But always look at the sizing. I don't know if it said the sizing though. But if it does, make sure you look. And then I also got... An electronic organizer for like cords and stuff, but this is also smaller than I expected it to be. This is my hand. Um, yeah. Wow, I feel kind of gypped. But it was kind of my fault. So what happened with the other one is I accidentally ordered a mini. Um, because you can select the size or whatever. So that's what happened. I don't know why I selected or how I selected. I didn't know that there was a size option, so I didn't change it. Yeah, this is going to be hard. I'll have to wrap the cords really tightly. I don't know, it might still work, but I'm a bit disappointed. I was hoping I could also put my camera in here, but I don't think it's going to fit. And my GoPro and stuff. Like, I wanted all my electronics to be in one case. That was the whole point. I don't know. I feel discouraged. Today is just about stress and discouragement, apparently. And massage! So that I will relieve the stress. Oh, uh, anyway. At least I got these. <laughs> this is... Yeah, I'm disappointed with my purchases. Be careful when you're ordering from Amazon. Okay, so I did decide to change my resort. So I I did so so I'm updating my um my check-in. Your bus stop. 
Your bus stop. It's hard. Mm, I'll just suffer with the walk. It's fine. I know I already know that the little mermaid rooms are a bit far away from the transportation. But still, it's not too bad. I mean, Disney World's huge, so you're going to be walking a lot no matter what. Hey, everyone. Um, so I got my massage and it was amazing. My hair is wet from the shower. I just took, because I always take a shower right after I get home from getting a massage because of all the oil and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I switched massage places a few months ago because my favorite massage therapist left the other place and it was really far away for me to drive. Um, so I was like, well, I guess it's time that I switch up. So I'm at a different massage place now and I've been experimenting with different therapists trying to find one I like. So I've been switching it around. I have liked them all, but tonight I think I found my favorite. So I'm happy. I'm really happy. When you find the perfect massage therapist for you, it makes all the difference. Anyway, I took a shower, um, so now I feel amazing, and now I'm going to eat dinner. After dinner, it will probably be almost time for me to check in on um, with the cruise line, um, because that's at 9 p.m., and it is 7.45, so I'm going to eat dinner. Okay, I'm about to check in. Complete online check-in, yes! Okay, so this is, um, I just put in a bunch of information and now I'm getting, um, when will you arrive at the cruise? So the earliest I can get is 10.30. That's the one I'm gonna want. First they had me go through and, um, say my address, say my emergency contact, um, what my citizenship thing I would be using. So I clicked um, birth certificate. You can use passport or birth certificate. Then it had me put in my flight information and stuff sh just in case. And then it had me pick my time. So I'm going to finish doing this now. All right. And now it's asking me what my preferences are. Because if you're rooming with someone, you can select twins but yeah but since i'm gonna be on my own i will select king good morning it's the next day so i have seven days it's exactly a week from today that i leave so today i need to prep my plan for tomorrow morning grabbing the lightning lanes at 4 a.m so that is the primary goal today I don't think I have to do anything else today to get ready, really, except for work and edit the podcast and edit vlogs. I think that's basically all I have to do to really get ready today. It's so soon. Ooh. Well, I was just catching you all up on what's going on. It is 11.22 a.m. and I already got some, I got two hours of work in and I'm hoping to work at least six hours today but hopefully eight or nine but we'll have to see how much work I have anyway I'll talk to you all later a bunch of packages arrived today <laughs> so I'm gonna open them I ordered a new GoPro replacement yay because the one I have is actually like, it's hard to tell if it's working properly when I am trying to record something. It's really old and so the quality is pretty poor. And so I really want to try and record more rides this time. So I thought that maybe if I got a new one, then it would motivate me to record more <laughs> because the thing is since it's such poor quality and a hassle and I can never tell if it's working properly and the battery doesn't last at all because of all those things I even if I have it I'm usually like I don't want to take it out so these are leggings um, that I'm planning on wearing as part of my EDs costume but I also might wear them just normally because I need replacement leggings anyway. Shoes. I got new heels. 
I haven't tried them on yet, so we'll see. Oh no, I don't like that. This part feels rough. That might be an issue. And it's glittery, which I'm allergic to glitter. My skin gets irritated um, really, really, really bad. Really, like, severely irritated. But I don't think this glitter comes off. And then I also got new wedge sandals because I absolutely love wedge sandals. And I had this pair for a really long time. And then they completely broke last cruise. I'm not sure if these are going to work. They look really skinny. Which my feet are kind of wide. My feet are small but a little bit wide. So I don't know. I'll have to try them on. And then I got this is for my 80s costume. It's like a it's a kit. It's a tool skirt, glasses, just fun accessories. Then I got this is for my Halloween costume at Mickey's Not So Scary. So I have to try that on, that dress. And then this is to go around the waist. Some of you might be getting hints as to who I'm going is. If you can piece together the different costume items I showed you. But I'm not going to reveal until those vlogs, so stay tuned for those. Or watch me on social media because I might post it. <laughs> I also got a pack of shorts. And these are like biker shorts. Because when you're going to a theme park, it's best, especially in Florida. Because the heat, you know, the humidity, the heat, the walking. <laughs> best to do like active, active wear, lounge wear, hiking wear, stuff like that for your legs so that you can walk the what like 15 miles a day or whatever it supposedly is yeah <laughs> in the heat so i don't know if i'm gonna like them but we're gonna try we're gonna try them all we're i'm gonna have to try them all on i probably should do that today too but i need to get a little more work done before i do that try to show you the genie tip board i'm gonna try to plan my day View my genie day. Click here to plan your day. Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna... Hmm... I think I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna try to pick, let's see, I'm gonna pick the big ones for this day. Maybe Big Thunder as well. And maybe one more dark ride. Let's do Under the Sea. Fireworks, live entertainment. I'm going to take that off too. And fireworks, life entertainment, what's new, it's seasonal offerings, and parades. Continue. Be my day. Booked? It says booked. Okay. Lightning rains tomorrow. In eight days, Disney Jenny will be able to find the best ways to fit your top experiences into your itinerary. Add to my top picks. Add to top picks. Mm. Add that to top picks. Plan your next park. Epcot. Let's say like one or so. Um, okay. 
This is new. That would be fun to do. Beauty and the Beast is my movie, so that would be great. Frozen Ever After, Guardians. Um, oh, Journey with Water. I haven't tried that yet. Remy's. Soarin'. And, you know, Figment. I don't think I wrote fig Figment last time I was there. Maybe, oh yeah, I knew it was getting to that point. Alright, so I have my tablet on the world clock so that I can refresh right at 4 a.m. Wish me luck. It's about to be it. I'm gonna push continue. Ah, I'm stressed. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. didn't let me. I have to go through again. Tiana's is not available. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Go back. I'm gonna change it to Friday. Tiana's. And, oh, I'm stressed. I am stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Haunted. And let's do pirates. Tron at <laughs> It's a little too early, I think. I'm gonna go with 10 a.m. 9 a.m. Haunted. Okay, um, let's see, 9, 10, 10, 45, so let's do this one a little bit later, one ten. I'll mod, I'll modify it if I need to, okay, that sounds good, ah, continue, <laughs> oh no, hold on, hold on, okay, let me try this is stressful! Still there, okay. Haunted. Pirates, let's go. No! <laughs> oh, wait. Ugh! Oh my god, that's good. Let's... Uh, I need, I want more though. Go back. Haunted. Pirates. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. That's fine. I'll just modify it later. Add payment. Why did purchase fail? <sighs> Haunted. Haunted. Uh, Tiana's. Pirates. I'll move pirates to... Continue. Add payment. This is really annoying. Ah, oh, I did it. Okay, now I'm gonna do... Let's 
Space Mountain. I'll do, okay, I'll do Winnie the Pooh and Under the Sea. Let's see, I'm not sure I'm gonna be there before 10. Well, it goes until 10.30 though. Uh, let's just to be safe. Okay. 10 30, 11 30, 12 30. Is there an earlier one? Alright, that looks good. Oh, way less stressful. Okay. Next. <laughs> Monday, the Hollywood Studios. I don't need fries. Oh, I changed the I chose the wrong date. Oh my god, I'm too tired for this. Us West Coast people, slinky. Tower, alien swirling saucers. That's really. Let's see if there's earlier. Oh my god. There's not, mm, mm, I don't like that. Okay, so not Slinky. Go back then. Mickey's. So I wanna be there in the morning. That's better. No, 12 is fine. Can I do earlier? Nope. There's no earlier for swirling saucers. Are you kidding me? Go back. Let me try Star Tours instead. Now Terror Terror's up. Okay, that's fine. Oh. There is earlier. Okay. That's good. Purchase for another day. Jesus is taking a long time. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Animal Kingdom. Lightning and I will do Cali, Kilimanjaro, and Navi River Journey. Okay, 8, 10, 9, 20, 11, 40, 12, 40. That looks good. Should I do it for earlier? 11? 11, 30. Let's bump it down a little bit. 12, 30. 12, 40? Yeah, I think that's, that's fine. And one more. One more day. Wednesday. Epcot. Remy's and... Oh, there's no sword. Right, it's a tear. Okay. Spaceship Earth. Email. Is there an earlier time? There is an earlier time. Actually, that might not be good, because I will be using the Skyliner, so... So you know what, let's do... I'd rather do Remy's first, I think. Oh, I don't think it, there is an option. Oops. That's fine. I can try to modify them. 135. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. Because I have a lunch reservation. <sighs> well, that took a half hour. Back to back to back. Look at those five. Let me just see real quick if I can. Tron. So I have Tron. Wait, I have overlapping plans. I should probably. Hmm. Huh. But it let me though. Maybe I should make it earlier. Earliest time is 9.25. 9 to 10.25? I feel like I'd probably get there by 10.25. I 
but it does make me a little bit nervous. Then 10.30. Oh, that's perfect because they're right by each other. So I have Tron and then Space Mountain. Then Winnie the Pooh and Seven Dwarfs. Those are all close. And then Little Mermaid. Perfect. All right. Good morning. So I recorded this morning at 4 a.m. when I was when I was getting the lightning lanes. So you will have seen that. I am pretty happy with my uh, what I what I managed to grab. I didn't get exactly my preferences. Um, like I didn't get Slinky, which was sad, and I. Didn't get Tiana's the first day, but I was mostly expecting that. There are a few time things that I wasn't super happy with, but it's it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I just finished recording my episode of my podcast. If you don't know already, I have a Taylor Swift podcast called Talking Swift our version. It's available on Audible, Spotify, Deezer, Amazon Music, and the Acast website. So if you're interested, definitely go check it out. We just finished recording and it was just news today and it was long. There was a lot of news this week for Taylor. It was an hour and a half. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun editing. Now I'm gonna go to lunch with my family. Hey everyone! So it's later in the day. I had a really nice lunch with my family. It was really good. Um, we went to Olive Garden and I was able to eat some stuff that I hadn't been able to eat in a long time so it made me really happy. Um, right now I am editing the podcast. Two hours and eight minutes long. And most of it is news! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm not really doing anything to prep except for editing today. I'm gonna try to work. Right now there's no work. So since there's no work, I'm gonna edit. Good morning! Except it's not really morning anymore! Oh, I forgot I was gonna try to use the mics today because I want to test them before my trip. But I forgot. Uh, maybe later I will. Yeah, it's not morning anymore. It is almost 1 p.m. And today I have been up since 9, 9 a.m. But today is a little weird for me because I didn't make coffee, so I did some work before going out and getting coffee, and so I didn't get my coffee until just like an hour ago. So for me, it feels like morning still. But yeah, it's the next day, uh, so now I have five days, five days until my trip, and I'm stressing out a lot but today I have to focus on editing the episode for the podcast so that it can go up uh, tomorrow morning so that is what I'm focusing on mostly but I'm also occasionally checking work yeah apparently my magic band has arrived but it didn't arrive at my door it says parcel locker but we don't have a parcel locker at our apartment I'm hoping it means mailbox or it could mean office. But yeah, that's a bit stressful because right now I don't have the mailbox key. My sister has the key and she is not coming back until tomorrow night. So I have to wait. I don't know what else to say right now. I tried to finagle some lightning lane choices and I think I, yeah, that's right. I did manage to make one five minutes earlier. I think it was for my Hollywood Studios day. Yeah, I think it was Tower of Terror. I was able to move it down by five minutes. I'm gonna keep trying to do that so that I get all my lightning lanes early so that I can keep, you know, keep going. I'm gonna get back to editing. It's been fun. 
Um, getting ready for this trip. Very stressful and editing has been fun. <laughs> Not really. I'm having trouble focusing. But I'm gonna try and get it knocked out of the way. Talk to y'all later. So today I'm gonna show you how to do spot saver. So not all airports have this but quite a few have this option and a lot of people don't know about it so um this saves your spot in security so that when you go through security it's kind of like a fast pass for the airport security line and so they put you right at the um conveyor belt usually and so you don't have to wait in a long line for security and especially if you're like me and you have airport anxiety it really helps ease that if you get a good spot so um oh destination i was looking up airlines orlando Oh my god, I always forget. Oh, there's only one checkpoint available. Okay, that actually helps because I think that two or five are the bad checkpoints. But I always get them mixed up and I always pick the one that's the bad checkpoint. But it's either two or five. <laughs> but that's only for the SeaTac airport. But yeah, so you just pick your checkpoint. This is how the Seattle one works. The Orlando one works a little bit different. And you kind of have to, so you just search it on Google and you can find it pretty easily, but they all have different names. I think I used it at LAX as well when we were there. I'm trying to remember, but I definitely used it at Seattle and Orlando a lot. And it helps at Orlando, it helps you breeze through the line. Like there was no issue with security. But usually that airport is kind of hard. Okay, so let's see. I think 8 p.m. Yeah. Maybe 8.15? No, I'm going to do 8 p.m. Because I might be really anxious. Um, but the good thing is that they will hold your slot 15 minutes before or after your appointment time. And all checkpoints lead to all gates, so it doesn't matter that much except for where you're flying to because then depending on where you're flying to, your gate will be farther away from certain checkpoints and stuff like that. If you know your airport really well, it might be easier to figure out, but I think that checkpoint 2, maybe it's 5, I don't remember if it's 2 or 5, but either checkpoint 2 or 5 at the Seattle airport is closer to the international flights and really far away from the domestic flights and it's also a really weird checkpoint to go through because there's a there's doors that you have to be let in and i don't know it's just a more difficult one i think checkpoint three is totally fine though yeah i'm gonna do that so you're just gonna save your Okay, and it's complimentary, it's free. If you have TSA, PreCheck, or Clear Lanes, um, then you use that instead of Spot Saver. So yeah, so you can do that at the Seattle airport five days before your flight. I typically have waited until the day before my flight because I always forget about it. But if you do it sooner, you get better options for checkpoints usually, except they're all taken or maybe they're only running three. I don't know. I don't know why that's the only one available, but that means that if it got closer, it might not be available anymore. So definitely try to do it ahead of time just to be safe. But it really helps with um, cause going through security is my biggest anxiety. I don't know why I just get so anxious. I don't want to hold people up in line. I want to make sure I do everything accurately and quickly and that everything goes okay. I don't know. It just makes me super anxious. So waiting in a long line to do that is makes it worse. By the way, I'm using the mic 
and I think it's working okay because I tested it before I did this and it sounded really clear. So here's to hoping it helps with being outside in noisy areas and stuff like that and walking. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me better and Kelsey when she's with me. Good morning. <laughs> it's 11.36 right now and there's three more days until my trip. Very excited. And today I'm going to focus on starting the packing process. So I'm going to do all my laundry. That's the goal today. I don't think I need to order anything else from Amazon. Yesterday I ordered two more things. Well, a couple more things. I ordered some more SD cards just so I'm covered. Portable chargers. And I ordered a backpack clip for my GoPro. Which I got a new GoPro. Oh yeah, I showed I showed you all. I did an unpacking, but this is what it looks like. It's not an actual GoPro, but it's a lot better than my old one already because it has a screen that you can see what you're recording. <laughs> my old one was so old that there you, there was no way to see what you were recording, which was my biggest pet peeve and why I didn't like to use it a lot of the time. I'm very happy with my with that purchase and that was only 50 bucks so it was a pretty good deal and the picture quality looks pretty good. It looks better than the old GoPro I had. The other thing is I was looking for my old GoPro yesterday because I wanted to get the SD card out and use it on this one but I lost it. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what I did with it after my last trip. Oh well, I mean, I wasn't gonna use it again anyway. I just wish I could find the SD card, but that's okay. That's why I ordered some more. <laughs> so yeah, so hopefully I will be able to record more rides than usual because I have many ways to strap on the GoPro. I'm gonna try to use a wrist thing. I also still have my chest suit. It depends on which ride, but... We'll, ha we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. So that's my goal today is to work on starting to pack. And I'm going to focus on my clothes. I still can't believe I have only three days. Oh yeah, this arrived yesterday. This is a good preventative thing to take if you're going on a cruise. Because last time I went on the cruise, like I was mostly fine. But the first day and night, I did have a migraine already. I did already have a migraine when I was getting on the ship, like it was starting to form. And I also got super motion sick in the car on the way to the cruise. I don't know why. It's really weird. I don't always get motion sick in the car, but sometimes I do. And I felt so motion sick on the way to the cruise so i was already like in prime territory to be affected and so the first night and then day i was just like so dizzy and didn't feel great i didn't take these because i gave them to kelsey um last time because we only had enough for the week for one person she instantly started to feel motion sick as soon as we started going and it was her birthday trip so I wanted her to have the best time ever so I let her have them I was fine after the first two days then it started to mellow out and I started to be okay like occasionally I still felt a little bit woozy when I was in my room because our room was where we felt it the most <laughs> unfortunately because of where our room was located because we were right at the front of the ship which is a prime location for getting motion sick the front and the back you don't feel as much in the middle but i think especially the front i'm not sure i could be I could be wrong. But this time I do have a more middle cabin. Um so hopefully it will be better. But I don't want to risk it ruining my first day. So I'm going to take those this time it's just a good idea just to be on top of it before it happens so that you know it doesn't mess up your time because cruises are so much fun but they are movement so i do want to show you one more thing my magic band arrived yay i'm so excited so yeah it gives they send you the magic band and then i think if this is what you charge it with or something very excited Good morning. Well, it's almost noon now, but it is Thursday, 
which means there are two days two days left until my trip um yesterday right i did all my laundry and then i started packing and typically i have to pack three times because the first time i always overpack by a lot and so then i have to repack and then i typically have to repack one more time and so it's always a good idea for me to start packing a at least a few days before the trip to give time for that. <laughs> so I packed the one time. I still had a full load of clothes that needed to be packed and my suitcase was full. That's just an idea of how much I overpack at first. I'll have to go through it later today and try to repack. But I also ordered my mirror's transportation because that's one of the transportation modes you can take from Orlando to Disney World. So I did that and I also booked my, well, I changed my one hotel night stay in Port Canaveral. I changed that, the hotel. I changed the hotel. I'm going to be staying at the Spring Hill Suites. Um, I also completely forgot to mention that I didn't vlog at all on Tuesday, which was the four days until. But yeah, it's, oh my God, it's, it's like we're in final panic mode um i'm working but there's not tons of work today there was tons of work yesterday so yesterday was a really good work day yesterday i managed to get nine hours in as well as packing as well as finishing the vlog my universal orlando solo trip which was the last one the last trip series that I uploaded and I started to edit this one which is gonna be a big job because it is now two hours and 46 minutes so it's without today tomorrow and Saturday it's a lot of editing other than that I'll talk to you all later hello it's the next day it's no longer morning though it's 12 30 p.m so good afternoon one day one day tomorrow's the day tomorrow I leave and I'm stressed. I'm very stressed about getting everything done. But yeah, I am editing this. <laughs> I'm editing this because it was two and a half hours. Actually, no, it was two hours and 50 minutes originally without this additional footage. I got it down to two and a half hours. Now I've gotten it down to two hours. So I'm making progress. <laughs> And that's also with adding some footage as well, because when I first started, it was last week when I was starting to add to it. So I'm editing. I am also working. I got an hour in. I'm trying to at least get six hours in. I think if I get six hours in today and six hours in tomorrow, I think I'll be okay. Because I did the math again last night, and it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was worse. I don't know how I was miscalculating. <laughs> this always happens. I always end up being fine. Maybe it's because I'm so obsessive that I miscalculate. I don't know. Anyway, I think we'll be okay as long as I can work enough today and tomorrow. But on top of that, I also need to, I need to repack my clothes and then I need to pack, start packing up my other stuff although i have to charge everything first that is what i'm going to work on today is charging everything i'm also washing my bedding because i like to do that right before a trip so that when i come back it's nice and clean bedding you know it's a it's a good thing to come back to um i also like to clean a little bit before i leave too because that's also a good thing to come back to but i don't know if i'll have time honestly because I also just got a possible client for my travel business as well. So, and they are looking to travel very soon, <laughs> like within the next few weeks. So I am trying to work on that as well. Um, I also need to try to edit the podcast episode for next week as well. But we did say that that might not happen. So I might have to let go of that. We'll have to see. But that's the thing I'm going to let go of if it gets down to the wire. I'm so excited. It's happening. I also have to take a shower. I should be able to check in for my flight tonight. And that's it. Yeah, I have to repack. I have to... <laughs> All right. Talk to y'all later. I can check in now. Oh my god. 
All right, I'm going to do it. Good morning. So today is the day I leave on my trip. I'm so excited. I need to repack. Um, I need to finish editing this. I need to work, um, try to get in a few more hours. And it is almost 11 a.m. And I'm going to dinner with my parents on the way to the airport. This is the last clip of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely stay tuned because I'm going to start the first video of my travel series later today. So look forward to that. If you enjoyed my content, please definitely don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you, new subscribers. And thank you, longtime viewers. I appreciate everybody. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all in the next one. <laughs>